We are live. Welcome, everybody. We are indeed live. Title Tuesday. Today is November 15th, the great day of November 15th. Fabiano, uh, ready for another Title Tuesday battle. It seems like it's a very contested Title Tuesday uh, today. You're actually number 10. No, wait. Wow. You're number 12 in the rating right now. Unbelievable. It is indeed. There, there are so many people, yeah? Hikaru, Ali Reza, Chess Panda. Uh, who is Chess Panda, by the way? Oh, Yu Yang Yi. Yu Yang Yi, uh, just fresh out of uh, winning the Fall Chess Classic. Coming with a vengeance to try to play the title Tuesday. By the way, Yu Yang Yi lives in the US nowadays, or he seems like he's always around. He is, right? It's not just me. Um, it's probably US or Europe. He's definitely not back in China. At least that's not what I uh, believe the last consensus was. Yep, yep, yep. All right. We have some people in the chat as well. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Frozen again? Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure why it's freezing. Um, we're going to solve that in just a second. Oh, you're muted. Oh my goodness. All right, we will figure that out in just a second. Um, okay. Say, so say something. Mm -hmm, mm, I cannot hear you yet. Keep talking, keep, I can hear you, yes, I can hear you. Okay, good luck, good luck. Keep, keep talking, keep talking. Keep talking so that I, that I know that you're in. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I think we can hear you now, finally. Yeah. That's good. All right, we figured things out. Some technical difficulties to start it off, but <laughs> Fabi, the old uh, silent killer. Yes, all right. I'm going to mute myself for Fabiano right now. And uh, yeah, keep speaking if you want to talk about the game. I will be chatting with, with the chat right now. No, I'll, leave it, I'll leave it to you, Christian. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Christian camera is working now. Yes, I do believe the camera is working. I'm just going to follow uh, Fabi in just one second. Give me just one second, guys. First round, always a couple of issues here and there, but here we go. We're in. We're in, guys. Title Tuesday, early title Tuesday, November 15th, and we're following Fabiano Caruana, who is playing right now with Women's Feed and Master Kuzol, who I'm not 100% sure who it is. And it seems like Fabi is getting this knight to f4, very nice. So basically what he does right now, he has a, a free attack. Black is going to try to do something on the queen side, but she cannot do anything. She can play c5 at best and then take on d4 and then what? Her attack finishes. On the other hand, white has a very easy plan. King to g2, h5, take on h5, rook h1, and just checkmate on the h file. That's basically a very easy and very straightforward forward attack. Bless you, Fabiano. Big Fabi, yes, Big Fabi is on. Oh my goodness, he's uh, he's uh, he's he's really feeling sick today. It seems like King F two, so he's not getting impatient with his attack. Fabiano, that is, he's actually welcoming an endgame. I like the idea. H five. It seems like you cannot do much with just the rooks, but you actually can because Black doesn't have two squares to double up the rooks, while White has. A, a lot of squares to double up on the h file, right? So what's going to happen? And king to g7, now she's actually, hmm, this position is not as easy as I thought it is. So basically right now you take, take, and there's no penetration square. There's no rook h7, you would love to be able to go rook h7. You don't have that. So what Fabiano is going to do right now is going to do this, king d2, king c3, b4, king b3, king a4, king a5, and try to go, uh, 
via b6. The problem is that this rook is going to stay somewhere on e8, and then whenever the king lands on a5, bishop d8 is going to come. So it's not easy. This is actually not easy. Not easy at all. WFM Kuzol is putting up great resistance in this one. And by the way, black cannot move the light square bishop from e6. If you go to d7 or f7, I go e6 instantaneously, opening up uh, the square e5 for the bishop, and that's going to deliver the goods. Take, take, rook h6. Okay, Fabiano is changing the position a little bit. Bishop h5 is an idea. I like this move. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This is a really nice idea. I think what she has to do right now is actually take on h6, which is not an easy move to make. But I think she has to take on h6. If you don't take on h6, I play bishop h5 next move. And if you take, I invade with the rook via e6. And if you defend with bishop f7, I go e6. That's why she's taking on h6. Very good move. Look, she's she's playing a magnificent game. And to be honest, I mean, right now she might even be slightly better because black will have ideas of playing g, yes, g5, and rook f1 is going to be met by king g6. King g6 followed by rook h8, rook takes h6. Fabiano is starting to risk it for the biscuit right now. There, there is definitely some risks inherent in this position. King g6, rook h8, and pick up the pawn on h6 for black. Is Fabi fine? Yes, Fabi <laughs> Fabi is fine. Uh, bishop e2, okay, rook h8 is going to be met by bishop to h5. You cannot take because bishop f7, that's going to be a discovery check and pick up the bishop on e6. g4, cutting up the action of this uh, bishop and not allowing it to go to h5. Good move. Wait, wait, wait. h7, rook h8, take, take. Huh. But once you exchange the dark server bishop, my king invades. Okay. That's an interesting one. So the king now invades. I think after king c5, you can take, but I'm going to actually exchange everything and then just go king b6. And the question is, who's faster? Who's faster in the position? Who is faster right now? You can take, th this is a race. But this is some sort of magic that Fabiano just pulled out of his rabbit hat. Rabbit hat? No, there's no such thing as a rabbit hat. King d6, yes, get in, mm -hmm. get in, absolutely, very good idea. So she didn't take on h6, that was very well played by her. Black's dark squares are looking uh, weak, well, that's the thing, black has the g-pawn, which is an extreme, uh, extremely potent weapon. And white, on the other hand, has the invasion with the king via the dark squares. Bishop to d3, inviting bishop... Ooh, wait. Is she looking at some sort of checkmating ideas? I hope she's not. All right. Rook g1 with the idea rook takes g4 is an option. Wait. What's happening after rook g1? Rook g1 is a big move right now. 34 seconds. He finds it. The idea of bishop c8 is that if you go, yes, but go back, yeah, there's no mate. Rook takes g4, that's a check. That's a check. Rook g5. Pick up the pawn on f5 after. Oh, by the way, e6 ideas. Wait, 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 wait. There's some e6 ideas. So you take e6. Oh, that's nice. That is nice, and she does not take, but now I can go bishop to h6, defend the pawn, and then bishop e2, bishop h5, and evade with the bishop via e8. 15 seconds for Fabi, 9.9 .9 for Kuzo. This one is going down the wire, guys. a5, b4, there's no checkmating ideas. b5, yes. Break it down on that side. b6, king d6 is an idea. Bishop e2, you cannot go to e8. e6, yes. Uh, take e7, bishop e6. That wins. Or king f6, e7. e7, followed by bishop e6. He got it. <laughs> that was a tough one. That was a really tough one, I have to say. All right. That was a really tough one, yeah? Yeah, that was not a great game. But... I, I mean, she was defending really well. 
Um, well, I mean, she was also probably borderline winning at some point. Really? Okay. I mean, with the uh, with my weak H pawn. No, I mean, I played rook H six because I didn't. I don't think there was any other way, right? There was no way to keep the game going. I yep. mean, I can't make any inroads. So I thought at least that would keep it messy. Rook H6. But then it's very, very dangerous now. And yeah. I don't know, because my king isn't mating that, but she never really had a way to. <laughs> that king was looking, uh, yeah, very But I didn't feisty. see a way. I didn't see, like, any uh, any way that I was getting checkmated. Like, for sure, she, was, uh, she had many ways to hold at some point, but... It seems that I'm frozen again. Oh my goodness, what is happening with my camera? Um, it does seem like I'm frozen. Let's see. So that was an interesting start, yeah? Yeah, like this moment, I think black should be much better. I would, I would guess at least. But probably not so easy for her to win this. But still, definitely much better for black, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was actually struggling to find your plan if she doesn't allow you to go king b4, king c5. Now the question is, how does she do that? Well, uh, Christian, uh, I think the graphics are also getting a bit, a bit messed up. Are they? I think so. I think we should. And now you're back. You're back. I'm back. Yes, 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 yes. I'm back. I'm back. I'm not frozen anymore. But yeah, there's something going on with the camera. I'm not 100% sure why it's freezing. Haven't used it in a while. And we got Eric Guzman with the super chat. Thank you very much, Eric. Appreciate that. Uh, really nice chess sets. Yeah, I, I do have a nice chess board, but I don't really use it. I don't know about you. I do not have a nice chess set. Um, I did steal one from my um, university room, but I had to <laughs> return it because the semester started. So when the semester is out, um i usually one of the loan the one nice of chess. the uh things about chess players is usually they don't bring chess boards to tournaments yeah so you might have you know a group of like half a dozen chess players or even a dozen without a single chess set in sight that's true no um that happens pretty often i, I don't remember the last time i actually used the chess board during actual tournaments u.s championship uh, I was training with my student Begim, and we were using a chess uh, chessboard. Were you guys using a chessboard during preparation for the US champs, or mostly? No, not? no, no, no. Just the computer, right? Yeah. Before a game, you don't really have time, you know, to screw around on a board. So yep. it's more, more just uh, cramming information or trying to decide what to play. I mean, you know, you know how it is. Yep. 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 Next round starting soon. I think you should be. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm playing uh, Vitaly Gurbich. Okay, good luck. Vitaly Gurbich. There we go. Round number two starts, and we get the two knights. Oh, uh, the knights tango. Yes, yes, yes. I think we uh, we remember this idea. The Knight's Tango, Fabiano touted it as being one of the best openings for Black. And he played it successfully quite a few times, actually. Last uh, title Tuesday we played. Good opening. Good opening. Definitely an interesting approach. Uh, I believe uh, Lawrence Strength has um, perhaps a DVD on this one. Fabi converted well. Yes, that was a very nice conversion in round one. All right, what do we have? Let me just flip the board. Fabiano is with the black pieces against Fide Master, uh, Gurevich Vitali. Actually, it's Gurevich, not Gurevich. Knight to g4, picking up this bishop on e3. I don't think you can drop it back. Queen to h4 is going to come. f5 is going to come, opening up the f file as well. You have to give up uh, that, that bishop. Queen to g5, tackle this pawn on e3, force the defense with queen e2 and now at the right moment i'm going to go f5 probably i don't have to go f5 immediately by the way is my camera frozen again no it's not frozen we're good we are good c5 he's choosing a completely different plan with h4 okay h4 h3 soften up the um king's position 
on on the king side bishop to g4 yes don't exchange that this bishop is actually going to be used uh is going to be sacrificed at the right moment to break through white's position bishop to g4 i really like this move f5 you have to follow it up with f5 right right no he says no knight e7 and then f5 so that you take back with the knight background cuffing is very annoying um i can mute fabi but in general he sometimes talks about his games if not i will ask him to mute himself <clears throat> a6 is he going to play rapid and a blitz tournament so this is a blitz tournament this is um i think it's three plus one if i'm not mistaken this is the early title Tuesday. Um, it actually doesn't say what the format of the tournament is, but I do believe it's three plus one. King g7, f5 is going to come at the right moment. I really like how he's delaying the move f5. I would have played it 20 moves ago. I would have played it 20 moves ago. But he says no. Rook to c1. Maybe maybe when he plays it, it's going to be too late. But I'll trust Fabi. I'll trust him. I'll trust his judgment. h3. Now uh, you have some weakened, newly weakened squares, especially this square g3. But I have to be careful because if you do go knight h5 as black, bishop takes h5 is going to come. And he would love with the white pieces to exchange this bishop for the knight. So first bishop b5, knight c3, takes away the move bishop b5, good move. But at the same time, it has its drawbacks. Queen to f2 is going to be met by queen to g1. So a nice nice defensive find by, um, by white. Oh, the World Rapid and Blitz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, he will be playing the World Rapid and Blitz in Kazakhstan. Yes, in December. That is definitely going to happen. Bishop to e8. Not for me. I'm not going. I'm not going to play that. Now there's no more Queen g1. So what you can do is go Queen g3, Knight e2, and now Queen f2. Yes. I think he's going to go for this one. But now queen c1, bishop b5, and still queen g1. Ah, but queen c1, I take on e4. <laughs> Very nice idea. <laughs> and queen d1 is not possible because you're losing the pawn on e3. Actually, you're completely tied up right now. There is no way to uh, exchange. You would love to fly your queen to g1, but that's not how chess works. Excuse me, my goodness. Give me that. Gift me that pawn. Thank you very much. Queen c2, bishop b5. This is going to be an easy conversion. Actually, white doesn't have any compensation for the pawn. It's black who has the pawn and the compensation. Queen f2, don't exchange the queens. Absolutely no reason to exchange the queens. Yes, bishop f1 is an idea. It's looking really juicy right now. Queen to g3 is an idea as well. Who is the guest in uh, this week's podcast? Uh, we, I, we're going to do a um, podcast just the two of us. I think that's the plan for the moment right now. There's not. By the way, whoa, 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 whoa. Some. Oh, oh, this has to be a checkmate, right? Okay, so knight h5, queen takes d6. I cannot go. What is he? Okay, so he's trying. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's easy. Queen takes d6, knight takes uh, e4, bishop takes e4, queen takes e4, and then you're going to get checkmate on e2. Queen to c2 is met by bishop to d3, this one. This one is easy right now. Dominguez or Aronian? Uh, they're definitely going to be on the podcast at some point. At some point. I don't know exactly when, but at some point, queen to b2, just to keep uh, e5 protected, and attack g2 as well. Queen to f4, he's going to g3. He has a different uh, plan, not allowing knight f3 either. Bishop c6. I mean, this position is so nice for black. 
there's <laughs> man sometimes these king's indian positions type of positions they're so nice black doesn't have any weaknesses right now he can do whatever he wants at this point queen e2 push the pawn get the pawn to e3 that's an idea some ideas at some point or just pick up some pawns on the other side check and then take on e3 no but you have to defend this okay e4 finally he plays e4 take take yes queen e7 queen b5 he's really precise also not allowing the knight to get to e2 i mean okay this is just uh The, the disrespect is real, yeah? Queen a1, a3, a2. Queen e5 back. a2, a1. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is he doing? Okay. <laughs> Fabi is playing with his food. That's not nice. Don't play with your food, Fabi. Come on. Don't play with your food. <laughs> All right. You were playing with your food there a little bit. Yeah, no, I was just uh, not doing it very accurately. I mean, luckily being up three pawns, you can. It's, I, I, I would say it's such a nice position. You absolutely have zero uh, weaknesses. You have and then I dropped my A pawn. About. But actually, after I dropped my A pawn, it became easier suddenly because I just made it. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, um, I see someone in chat saying that we're no longer in speaking terms with Hans, but it's not really true. I mean, we we were talking to him recently. Um, you're you're, you're frozen there. frozen again, but I know. I know. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. But yeah, we were. We were talking to, to Hans after the Classic. Yeah, we had the closing ceremony at the Fall Chess Classic. Uh, some people were asking what that tournament was about in the comments. Why was Vidit in the US? Vidit was in the US for the Fall Chess Classic. That was a two-group invitational Grandmaster event. I was playing in the big group, Hans, Vidit, and a lot more other players. Yu Yang Yi actually was also in the A group, and he yeah. actually won that. Yu Yang Yi won the tournament, plus three, I think. Mm -hmm. Hans scored plus one, solid. Yeah. Fitted, I think, plus one or plus two. I don't remember exactly. I think also... plus two? I want to say I'm plus not sure. Three. I want to I'm say sure. plus two. Uh, but yeah, Yu Yangi was pretty dominant in that one. So that was an interesting one. Are we still having any games? Let's see. Uh, let's see. So there's still some the games. So one game. Uh huh. Hikaru won, and then I don't think there's any surprises yet, except I don't see Yu Yang Yi at the top anymore. So I assume draw or loss happened there. Yep, yep, yep. Now we're going to see the Lucena. Yes, build the bridge. Build the bridge. King C three. Check King B four. Rook B six. Rook B five. Very nice. Very nice bridge by Mister Kopilov. And the next one should be starting momentarily. So um, I'm going to uh, mute myself and mute you as well because people don't like your cough. They're very worried about you, Fabi. Cough? Yes, they're very worried about you. No, 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 no. I'm not sick. Don't worry. I did start my game though. <laughs> All right. Um, we did mute Fabi. Let's see where he is. I cannot see him on the list. Where are you, Fabi? I only see Firuja. I don't see Fabi. <coughs> oh, there he is. He's playing uh, a player actually that's streaming as well. Um, he's a streamer from Poland, if I'm not mistaken. Grandmaster from uh, Poland. Who is he? Ah, Zbigniew Pakleza. Yes, yes, yes. We know him. Zbigniew Pakleza. And uh, he's with the white pieces, a nice slav. White gets two bishops. That is quite comforting. And um, some sort of an attack 
and the expansion in the center because he's going to go king b1 e4 at the right moment and try to break through in the center actually no probably king b1 first probably you want to to set it up because if you <laughs> as i was saying that he plays the movie for him immediately uh bishop to f4 probably has to be the response just to exchange one pair of bishops and that's why i wanted to go king b1 so that after bishop to f4 i can sidestep that exchange with bishop to uh, e1 but okay this is just a taste type of thing <laughs> don't mute I, I did not mute him no he's not muted he's not muted the vocal vocal minority i like that <laughs> Am I frozen again? Oh my goodness. This never happens. So I'm not 100% sure why it's happening right now. I know how to fix it. It's just, it has to be fixed. It takes like five seconds to fix it every like three minutes, which is kind of annoying. It, it's not about netter, network uh, traffic. No, no. Uh, there's something with, with Streamlabs. <laughs> You've been hanging out with Elsa uh, too much. Actually, who was um, the, the, there was a big fight this weekend. I don't know if you guys are UFC uh, watchers. I I definitely enjoy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Bishop E7 was a terrible move. Uh, knight to D5 doesn't work because your queen on C7 is not protected. There was a big title fight between Alex Pereira, who was the challenger, and uh, Israel Adesanya. And uh, Adesanya is a big, uh, I don't know, like culture watcher. And he uh, told uh, Pereira, uh, heading up to the fight, that he's going to free him, like Elsa. Then Pereira was trolling him, like, why are you watching kids' movies and things of that nature? Um, <laughs> and then Pereira won the fight. He actually froze Adesanya. Fabio, uh, are you going to do a podcast with Lex Friedman? <laughs> Interesting one. Knight g5, trying to defend f7, trying to potentially get back the knight to e6, cover up this uh, diagonal. I really like this move king to b1. And I would have played it automatically, like, again, 20 moves ago. Just like I would have played f5 in the previous game. And f5 actually was never played in that game. Which just goes to show that, you know, there's levels, I guess. Is it frozen again? Oh my goodness. My goodness, guys. Not sure what I can do. If this... And it will probably happen again. I think I'm just going to do the webcam. But the webcam is, is, is ugly. The webcam is really ugly. You guys will not like it. Okay, this is game over. <laughs> That's game over. That was easy. That was easier than expected. Easier than expected. Yeah, something went wrong. I was actually kind of proud of King B1 in the end because the most obvious move was H4. I wanted to go king b1 like 20 moves ago. No, no, of course. I mean, it's a very natural move. Right. Okay, I don't know about 20 moves ago. I mean, the game ended on move 21. <laughs> Let's, uh... <laughs> but, uh, you know, like... Exaggeration the, there? Like, h4 was, like, the first uh, intention instead of king b1. Mm -hmm. And then knight e6 is forced. So yeah. Doesn't want to go back. Take on e6, and then I take and on e6, e6, and I take on g6, but he puts a king on e7, and the game continues. Mm. Okay, he's down a pawn, he's definitely lost, but the game is continuing. Absolutely. And here I didn't see a defense, because if he castles long... Actually, wait, what, what was wrong After with King castle B1, long? Oh, right. Queen D7 is terrible, yeah. Yeah. But castle long... Yeah, castle long lose normal, right? After King B1, yeah, castle long, what did I want to do here? Not, I actually don't remember all of a sudden. Okay, no, th this... Um... Yeah. Yeah, somehow I don't remember. Um... Anyway, it doesn't matter. I mean, queen d7 is a terrible blunder. Yeah, queen d7 is... And I want, like, maybe rook c1, or maybe this is what I was... Rook c1 and knight b5 ideas, or...? 
Yeah, not king rook c1, king b8. Probably. Okay, worst case, I can always play h4, take on e6, take on g6, and get the same yep. type of position. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Yeah, okay, anyway. but still he played king d7. Um, what should we what should we watch right now? Let's see. Who else is playing? Hikaru is still playing. Should we watch Hikaru or Firuja? You decide. Um, yeah, um, let's watch Firuja because he's less commonly Never seen. Never mind. Firuja just finished his game. Okay, he won. So let's, uh, yeah, let's have a look at Hikaru. Hikaru with the black pieces. Not an easy position. Well, no, no, he'll win this. I mean, first of all, he's a minute up and the position is probably winning. Okay, now you take on g4. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is over. You cannot take back on g4 because of knight e3. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This, so uh, this one looks like it was a relatively smooth game. Was I actually mean, a minute, so quite easy. All right, let's watch what my boy. The... Let's watch my boy, Bogdan Dak. Do you know Bogdan Dak, Fabi? Do I know him? Yes. <laughs> Are you a big fan of Bogdan Dak? Huge fan. Actually, you played him, right? Yes, yes. How did you guys do? We drew. We only played one game. We drew this year. At the Super At Bet. At the Super Bet Classic. I don't know what's going to happen in this game because he's he's draw. better, no, slightly better, but he's draw. much lower on time. No, I would say he's probably going to win this. Pick up the e5 pawn at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Somehow you win e5 and then... Whoa, 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 whoa. There's knight g8 coming. That's yeah, bad. don't don't fall for knight g8. <laughs> uh, so maybe after knight f6, the, the pieces are just coming off too too many of them. Okay, there, you're still losing the pawn on e5. Mm, not really. But even if you do at this point, like there's so few pawns left. But I don't see how you're winning that pawn anyway. Mm. Mm, knight f2. Be careful. Knight e3. King f2. Can knight c8? He's going for it. Knight c8. Knight. Aha. Uh -huh. So maybe he. Yeah, but okay. I mean, this knight, whole knight c8, knight b6 stuff. Yeah, the good news for white is that mm. it's still. It's getting so interesting though, right? But it's getting worse. Worse and worse. You okay, need you that have... h4 pawn, but it's on a dark square, so you can't really get to it. Yep. e5. Okay. Knight d3. Bishop, B, Bishop G6. Is, yeah, I, I guess it's good for black, like from a purely conceptual point of view, that the bishop and the h pawn are the same color. So if mm -hmm. white ever tried to bail out in that fashion, it wouldn't work out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, yeah, uh, the, the mistakes are starting. Yeah, you see now, why would have knight take c4 if it weren't for that uh, yeah. bishop? No, this, right. is, this is probably no, now, now the knight is dominated. Yeah. Oof. B2, and that's it. That's it. And that's exactly what you were talking about, right? This would be a draw if it would be on the other side. If the bishop were a dark square bishop, or if the pawn were an a pawn and white's king were on a one, yeah, that, that's always a draw because you can't force the king out of the corner. Yep. But but this is over, yeah. That was well, we kind of called it once he started to go astray a little bit. Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, how are we doing in terms of standing? By the way, right now? let's see. Min Lei lost. Wonderful okay. time lost. Okay. So some upsets are coming. I mean, round three already. Dubov also lost. A lot of upsets. Yeah? Duels. Uh, that's Dubov as well. Yeah, I mean, it's GM versus GM nowadays in round three. Uh, I see a question chat. I wasn't drinking apple cider vinegar. It was, it was a 40. That's what I had last time. That was a 40, huh? It's 40. Oh man, I was so tired during that podcast. Just after the round. Six hour round. Um, yeah. So, oh, game started. Okay, good luck. I'm playing the guy who beat Dubo, I think. Oh my goodness. Tratar Belarus. Try to get revenge for, in the name of Dubo. I'll try. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, Let's find the game. Chess.com is a bit glitchy nowadays. Like I cannot see the games yet. Okay, finally we get the games. Tratar, uh, Belarus. All right. Fab is playing with the black pieces. Fide Master, 2838. So I would assume this guy is some sort of a young genius kid or something along those lines. 
And uh, that's my guess. Justice for duels, exactly. Justice for Dubov. Trying to get some revenge. Typical Catalan. Uh, Black is striving to play the move a bishop to a6, gain some tempo. So, for example, you cannot really play at least not as easily castle because of bishop to a6, even though I do think it works after queen c2, bishop takes c2, and bishop takes b4. So, that's an option. Uh, by the way, you can start with bishop a6, which he does. Now you take on b4. The idea being that whenever you go knight a5 and open up this diagonal as white, black will always, almost always, uh, especially with a knight seal on b8, will respond with a move knight to d5, blocking this diagonal. Now, what black's plan is in the position is to play c5 as fast as possible. Play c5, get some, uh, get some push on uh, the uh, queen side, and get some space. If you manage to do that, in a good fashion, then black's position is extremely healthy and probably black is just simply going to be better. Um, white, on the other hand, is going to try to stop c5 at all costs, which, to be honest, in the position right now, doesn't look feasible. For example, rook c1, I feel like you have to go rook to c1 if you want to stop the move c5. <coughs> Once again, if you don't stop the move c5, mm, I think black at least equalized. Exactly, she, he goes for rook c1. Rook c8, it's the battle for c5. How much was uh, the price money for the full chess classic? So in the A group, I think um, first price was 6,000. And in the B group, I think first price was 4,000, something like that. Has Fabi ever won title Tuesday? No. He's been close a few times, but he actually never won title Tuesday. a3, bishop b5, no exchanges because you're going to lose the rook on a1. If you go knight d2, then you have to worry about the pawn on e2. So I really like black's position. Probably what white wants to do is go a4, but that's going to allow the pawn on b4 to survive forever. And this pawn on b4 is just such a thorn in white's position because you would love as white to go knight c3. Not possible because of this pawn on b4. e3, okay. c5, why not? c5 is an idea. Yeah, why not? I guess he goes for it. And now, in fact, if you take, I take back with a rook. Aha, uh -huh, so e3 was aimed at getting this pawn off the diagonal so that whenever knight d2 comes, you don't have bishop takes e2. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so what white has to do right now is just try to play for equality. White is not better anymore. His opening advantage has dissipated. So what he has to do is play for equality. Survive. And I think he understands that. Tratar, Belarus. But the pressure is still on and Fabiano is also playing extremely fast. Two minutes against 40 seconds. So he's definitely putting some pressure on his opponent. Hikaru has won it 59. Are you kidding me? Magnus looks at Fabiano's lips during the game. What? <laughs> what are you guys smoking? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> How's Fabi doing so far? Three out of three. This is round four. How did the fall chess classic go? I had a lot of fun, yeah. So I started off pre pretty slowly. Uh, half out of uh, three. I lost two of my first three games. But after that... Um, I won three out of six, no losses in the last six, and I finished on plus one. And I was the only one to beat Alex Landerman uh, in the tournament. So there were some positives. Given that I haven't played chess, competitive chess, in more than three years, by the way, this looks like a really nice move. Rook to c2 right now. You cannot take back on c2 because I take on a1 first. King h7. <laughs> Chat is on something today. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Good move. If I v4, that's an idea. Yep, 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 yep. He goes for it. Bishop c6, put some pressure on this diagonal. Mm -hmm. 
But now you have to worry about the pawn on c4. So you probably have to defend that. Ah, he goes for bishop a8 and queen c6. That's that's nice. That's really nice. That is really nice. So you cannot take on c4 because of queen c6. Now you have to weaken with the move f3, but that gives me more uh, things to work with more weaknesses to work with, specifically this pawn on e3. So I can go queen c5, he goes queen e6, a completely different approach, maybe f4 at the right moment, followed by queen to h3. There's a lot of ways and ideas in that you can implement in this position. He goes for f4. He goes for f4, and by the way, Tratar only five seconds, Fabiano with 50 seconds, so definitely a huge time advantage. I can pick up a pawn. I can give another check. Don't take on f4 and get checkmated. Obviously, I'm pretty sure he knows that. And now the question is, how do you defend? Queen to e7 or rook to c7? He decides for queen to e7. No, no, no. no. There's no way you can take this. King h8. Go king h8. Yes. <laughs> you see, he listens. He occasionally listens. Rook d8. Rook d1. Queen e1. He did not listen this time. That's a check. Potser sees checks. Potser gives checks. Queen h4. Uh, there's. Be careful. Just don't get mated. Yes. Go back. Go back. Go back. Attack the queen. No. Give a check. Why is the bishop going to f5? Rook c1, rook c2. Is that an option? At some point, you have to make some progress. Yes, rook c8, rook c2. Okay, he uh, decides to sidestep that idea. Rook c1. The cavalry is coming. Check. You can take. You can take and go queen f2. He missed it. Oh, that's a mate. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. That came out of nowhere. And that guy was... Uh... He was fighting, yeah? It was really good with, like, no time left. I mean, to not blunder in that position. Yeah. I guess he was winning at some point for me, or probably many more moments, but... But, yeah, yeah it was like... Uh, he wasn't blundering, okay, until the very end, of course, Bishop B3, but for, like, a long time, uh, really held on very well. Have you played Hans before, Christian? Uh, I did play Hans quite a few times, actually, when we were grow when he was growing up. Um we met a couple of times i think in the bay area and uh, but he was he was just a kid and then he beat me most recently at a blitz tournament um before i think the national open in like 2016 or something along those lines so that was a long time ago um people are asking for more streamers and more top chess players on the c squared podcast What's yeah, the we, plan? We What's the plan for that? Plan that. Uh, I see people are asking for Robert Hess on the podcast. We should ask him at some point. You know, mm -hmm. absolutely, he's yes. a good friend, and uh, we do we do some work with him. You know, I mean, I do commentary with him quite a bit. Yep, yep, yep. Mm, we'll, we'll definitely. Uh be looking to have uh, Robert on the pod at some point. By the way, people are saying that Magnus says that he looks at your lips during the games. And now they're discussing a potential lip gate in the chat. Have you ever noticed that? Magnus looking at your lips? Isn't it one person in the chat saying this? <laughs> <laughs> Who is they? <that? laughs> Who is this thing? I'm not sure. <laughs> Somebody's trying to stir the pot in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Not sure about that. Invite Joe Biden on the C squared. Yeah, podcast. that's that's likely. That's very likely, isn't it? <laughs> I, 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 I mean, if, if uh, Joe is listening to this, you know, we're, we'll have you on. We'll have Joe on. By the way, Hikaru won against. Um, Penguin GM, so that was a big streamers battle. Uh, Firuja drew against Grandelius, and um, I'm not 100% sure how many games are left. Have you started uh, your game already? No, not yet. I, I don't see the games updating here. It still shows a lot of games which I assume have finished. Yeah, mine are not updating either. 
Um, Dania would be a good guest. Yeah, absolutely. Um, again, what we want to do in general is have guests in person. I think that works much better um, than over Zoom. Zoom, you have like the connection problems, the communication problems, and it's just another layer between uh, mm -hmm. between people. Why are my tie breaks so bad in this tournament? I mean, I, I have eight. Uh, Hikaru has 12. I guess your guys are just not winning, yeah? My guys are not doing great. It always feels a bit unfair because I, I don't choose who I play here. Okay, we'll see. I mean, it's still early on. So far, so good. By the way, do we know if there's a break? It's never clear. <laughs> it's, not, it's very unclear. Uh, there is a planned six minute break after round four. Wait, was this round four? This was round four, but we don't know. I mean, they always say it's a six minute break and then. Okay, we'll, then we'll it start to start. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll trust them this time, yeah? Mm. Do we trust them? No, I'm going to stay at the computer just in case. <laughs> Actually, give me just one second. I need to use the restroom. You talk with the chat. All right. A lot of people asking for guests. Recorded Duvalov. Tani Sachita, Vincent Kaima. Well, we will have guests, but we can't get them all at the same time. Yeah, we will try to get Robert on at some point. Thank you. Thank you for enjoying the commentary. Happy to hear that. Um, Christian's games, I guess the FCC is the fall chess class. Yeah, I, I did follow Christian's results and, and the other results as well. I was watching it closely. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, <clears throat> what do we think about Joe Rogan? Seems like someone doesn't like him in the chat. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of Joe Rogan. You're a fan? I like I Joe like Rogan, him. yeah. He, he has good podcasts. I know he's a very controversial figure nowadays. I don't know why, but it is a very controversial. Yeah. yeah I mean, he's gotten a bit controversial with uh, some of his guests. Every, every uh, <clears throat> podcaster nowadays seems to be needing to walk a very uh, narrow path in order to remain uncontroversial, which I actually don't think is good for business. I think he enjoys being controversial. Well, I think that the most popular guests will be the ones who uh, who get both sides of it riled up, get some discussions going. So that will also lead to some controversy. But from his point of view, it's probably all business. Yeah. Or maybe it's enjoyment. I mean, it could be both at this point, but I think that uh, he definitely wants to get the more con controversial guests on yep. because that starts a discussion. Did you watch the Kanye Lex podcast? Um, yeah, I did. Did you yeah. watch it? I watched a bit of it. I mean, it, it was, it really went off the rails, you know, Kanye. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I don't know if Kanye really needs to to think about what he's saying. I, I I don't think he is thinking about what he's saying in general. I think he's thinking about it, but he's he's just you know he's a bit uh, he's he's, a bit lost. He's he's down the path. Yeah. He's 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 very deep down the path. Yeah. <laughs> he's he went down the rabbit hole. Ah. Uh. By the way, actually, this tournament is coming up, the World Team Championship. Um, yeah, that's a, do you know the U.S. team? Do you know who the U.S. is? I know team? Hans is actually going to lead. Yeah, that Hans team, is first right? board, but do you know who else is on? No. So it's I would assume uh, Ray Alexander Onish Onishuk. Really? Onishuk is playing. Bruzon. Uh, Var, Kobian. 
Oh, game just started. Okay, oh. uh, we'll we'll restart that discussion after this. Okay, good luck. Thanks. All right, let's see who uh, Fab is playing. Mm. Games have started. Okay, Bilodo A. Again, I'm not 100 sure who this guy is. Ah, this is Alexenko, I think. Yeah, this, this I, I believe this is Alexenko. All right, there we go. Alexenko with the white pieces uh, against Fabi. They know each other quite well. They actually played a couple of very important uh, games during the candidates, uh, the two parts of the candidates in 2020 and 2021. So they definitely know each other quite well. All right, let's uh, in fact flip the board so that we see it from Fabi's point of view. Knight d7, a nice Joko Piano essayed by Alexenko, and Fabi is trying to reshuffle this knight on c6, which wasn't doing much, to the other side of the board via e6. Knight takes e6, knight g5, and try to put some pressure on the king side. That's a very typical approach. Now, the thing is, once the knight lands on e6, he's not going to go to f4 um, because this pawn on e3 is controlling this very important squares, d4 and f4. So despite the fact that white, you could say that uh, he has a, a weaker pawn structure. In fact, his pawn structure is controlling a lot of important squares. So plus and pluses and minuses, guys. Pluses and minuses. All right. Rook to f1, knight to d7. Now, I was actually wondering why Fabi didn't take with the f pawn on e6. I wanted to see some massive exchanges on the f file. But that's mostly because I'm thinking about the position as, okay, I need to equalize. I think what Fabi is trying to do is actually keep more chances to destabilize the position. His um, frame of mind, I think, is very different to mine. g6, knight g7, and f5 is an idea g6 why not where's the queen going by the way g6 queen g4 h5 queen g3 so the queen is running away wait 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 this feels extremely fishy okay king g7 what's king g7 doing i guess defending the pawn on f7 increasing the defense on the pawn on f7 and i believe he wants to focus uh all his attention on the queen side go h5 do not allow... Ah, okay, queen g5. So he's exchanging the queens and then he's just going to invade via the a file. That's an interesting approach. What do you take with? Well, the h pawn. I really hope Fabi wins title Tuesday for once. Yes, I mean... Again, he had some really decent results, but he never won it. Okay, get the other rook to a8. Why not? Mm, do you exchange a pair of rooks? I guess you could, but then rook a1, rook f1. This is not an easy conversion. So rook a7, keep the two pairs of rooks on the board, as much material as possible. Knight to b6, b4, c5, knight a4. You have to start with b4, kick the knight away. This knight on c3 is extremely powerful. Yes, kick the knight away. Now the problem is you don't have the move rook to a2. So you, ha you have to lose another tempi with a move rook to f8 to defend the pawn on f7. Rook f8 and then follow it up with rook to a2. Knight c5 maybe, yeah, exchange the knight. This knight is a good defensive piece for uh, white, stops the invasion via a1. So that's an important trade for Fabi. Knight c5, now he's considered considering the move knight to c1 to be ready to take on b3 with the knight but he decides against it now he has to be very careful about b3 so that's why he plays the move b3 himself but now rook to a2 this is starting to become extremely extremely dubious at least to my eyes uh for uh white what i'm envisioning is rook to b2 followed by rook to a2 and probably before anything happens i will also put my pawn on f6 so that whenever you double up with rook to f1, I go knight d7 and I defend this pawn with the knight. I want to free both of my rooks to be able to double up on the second rank. That's the plan in the position. So now f6. 
f6 is a good move. d5, okay. So he takes a completely different path. Is Fabi currently at his blitz peak? Um, I wouldn't say he's... Uh, I don't know, maybe. That's very easy to tell. Yeah, I mean, you can go to 2700chess.com and just check whether he's at his blitz peak. But I do think that he's among the top 10 at least in the world right now in the blitz rankings. He did quite well, I think, in the St. Louis Ravenin Blitz, which was the last blitz event. D3 was not hang hanging at any point, I think. Okay. So he opened up, he exchanged his two pawns and opened up the C file so that he can attack the C pawn via the C file while at the same time defending the F7 pawn. That's very clever. Now, what he can also do is play the move D4, force the move E4, and then get the knight to F4. Okay, there's some, there's some tactics. Oh, you can do that too. Oh, okay, that's very nice. Oh, that actually finishes the game. Rook takes it too. Yeah. Oh, this is so nice. This is game over. You're actually losing two pawns. Yeah, rook c7. Or knight d2. Okay, yeah. Very nice conversion. Super nice game. Super clean game. This was a really clean conversion. Uh, it, it's not easy to outplay these guys, these 2700 plus guys in this type of dry positions. But this was, it, it felt so easy. Rook c3. Why not? That's an option. F6 is an option. B3 is an option. Lots of options. Yeah, this is over. Um, does F5? No, F5 you take, and then B2 you actually take on G6 and Rook B6, so you cannot do that. Okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. I mean, this is still completely winning. This should still be completely winning. But I think he's making his life a little bit more difficult than it should be. G5. Play g5. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good move. Uh, rook b7. Mm. Is this becoming more difficult than it should be? This is becoming more difficult than it should be. Why did he do this? Why did he do this? Oh, he's going to hate himself if he if he doesn't win this. Oh, he's going to be so pissed. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just telling them that you're going to be extremely pissed if you do make a draw in this one. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just missed that G5 is hanging, and then it's very difficult. I just missed G5 is hanging. I don't know. So I guess you have to go F6 first, yeah, instead of King F6. F6 and then G5. And then just get the king via. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's uh, that's. Uh, I thought I would get my king up, but I kind of rushed it. I mean, but I'm just two pawns up. If I just play instead of b3, I just play rook c3 and take d3. I'm up two pawns. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that this would be easier because I thought I'll keep the pawn on the king side and the b pawn. I forgot g5 hangs. Yeah, I actually forgot about g5 also. And I thought after. Rook g5, you have some ideas of f5, but... I didn't see how well. <laughs> I mean, his rook is getting around somehow. Yeah, his, his rook is... Actually, well, wait a minute. F5? No, I mean, like, worst case, he can play f6 and get his rook behind again. That's true. That's true. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I do have this rook, c, rook uh, d6 idea, but... Yeah, instead of b3, just rook c3, I mean, he resigns. Well, okay, he doesn't resign, he plays on, but... Uh, it's two pawns and it was such a clean game before that yeah it looks like a good game super clean playing. Game. you're playing already huh are you playing already no no okay so there's still three games going on um okay four and a half Jospem, martinez alcantara five out of five uh zvain rasmus five out of five hikaru five out of five bunch of players with okay this draw doesn't affect it so much no no, no but no. still kind of annoying because i was 
I was so, so winning. Yep. And I, I think I really outplayed him. That, that was a really clean game. Yeah, no, that, that was definitely a very clean game. Uh, people are asking, how do you feel turning 30? Do you feel oh, well, motivated in the same way? That's a weird question. Don't trust anyone over 30. <laughs> so now I can't trust myself. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I've been uh, untrustworthy for almost two years now. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. 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 Some people like to be in their 30s. I think I like it. Even though, I mean, the 20s are so nice. I don't know. I like my 20s. Yeah, 20s are pretty good. 20s are always good. I think teenagers are, are never too fun. Yeah, those are always so loaded. Loaded with questions. All right, duels survived. My boy Dubov. Good draw against Gilbert GM. And you should probably be starting your game anytime soon. It should start soon. I think all the games are finished. Yeah. The last one just finished right now. Okay, I just started. Dr. Velja. I don't know who that is. Oh, I know this guy. He's very good. What's his name? Avid, um, Ivic. Yeah, yeah. Velomir Ivic. He's quite good. Okay, good luck. Funny story about Ivic. He was around 25, 20 or 25, 30, and I invited him to the university. And then he decided against it. And uh, immediately after, he uh, jumped in rating from like 25, 30 to like 26, 50 or close to it. 20, maybe it was 26, 30, something like that. And um, he obviously made the right choice not to come to university and try to pursue a full-time chess career. The problem is that very recently he started um, some sort of a slump. He's back to like 25, 30 or 25, 40 nowadays. So um, chess is cruel. Chess is cruel, guys. You can have uh, a phase of just bad tournaments and you lose all your labor. You, you've labored so much and so many hours, extensive hours of preparation, extensive hours of looking at lines and learning new openings and things of that nature, doing tactics and, and getting your game to the next level. And then in a matter of months, you lose some confidence. You And, and then everybody feels like they're Gary Kasparov. Um, it's, it, it's a very painful, painful uh, moment. It seems like you have in invited everybody. To, well, all the promising young lads. Yes, <laughs> of course. Um, I've, I've, I've invited a lot of promising talents. Yes. And a lot of them say no, but that's just the way recruiting works. We're talking about Ivic right now, uh, the opponent of, of Fabi. Dr. Velia, uh, that's uh, Velimir Ivic from Serbia. I think he's only 19 or 20 years of age. Very young guy. Um, big prospect. I would say the next big prospect from Serbia. Christian, you look like Nico from CSGO. I keep hearing that. I, I just don't know who that guy is. Um, I, I, for whatever reason, I, funny story about CSGO. It was the only game I played growing up. Actually, I was playing it quite a lot. I was, uh, missing school. I was, uh, missing school to, to go play, uh, CSGO in internet cafes. And, uh, I was getting in trouble because of it. Who is going to win the World Cup? Now, that's a very good question. Portugal. I want to see Cristiano win the World Cup. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, mostly because I'm a big fan of Real Madrid. And he's a Real Madrid legend. <laughs> that's, that's probably a hot take. <laughs> hmm. 
you should look at him. He might be your twin brother. <coughs> Definitely not Portugal. Look, I mean, obviously they're not favorites. Cristiano is like 37. He's a grandpa now. <laughs> also, what is this game? It's a very strategic game, actually. Um, so black has the two bishops. That's obviously a plus, but white has the much better structure. And to be honest, he had this move queen to f2, attacking both c5 and f6, which he missed. That would have won him a, a pawn. That's a big miss. At the same time, I still feel like he has a very, very pleasant position. Mostly because the two bishops don't actually do much in terms of dynamics in the position. And I have ideas of just pushing my h-pawn. h4, h5, h6, h7, and keep going with the h-pawn. That's going to create some unpleasant trees. By the way, queen f2 is still a move. Bishop c1 to exchange the bishop is, is also a move. Yeah, queen f2, I think what he's trying to do is force the move d4 and then bishop to c1. Slovakia will win the World Cup. Now that would be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is exactly... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. So we exchange the queens. I can also go bishop c5, which it does. Take, take, and open up the d-file, and there's something happening on d-file, right? There must be something happening on d-file. It just feels so loose for black. It feels extremely loose for black. But where's the killing blow? I don't see the killing blow. Guys, where's the killing blow? h4? h4 bishop f4. Um, you have to be very careful, because black doesn't need much. Black needs to take, take, queen to b5 of, uh, or ideas of that nature, and then bishop takes b3 ideas are coming in the position. So that's why he played knight d6, to kind of construct a cage for the queen on a6. Queen to b5 or queen to b7 or queen to c8 are not possible. So these two pieces working together are taking away a lot of squares from the queen. I like this idea. Knight to e4 is also a move. Put some more pressure on the bishop on g5 and the pawn on f6. Queen to b5 tried to create some unpleasantries, but rook takes d7 would have been a problem. So he goes bishop d5, rook to e1, save the rook. Why not? Queen to b5 is going to be played most likely. But then you can take the pawn, right? Just take the pawn. Ah, is he really? Oh, man. Ooh, rook a1. That's that's a big one. That... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, <laughs> so he played queen b6 and resigned. That's nice. Okay, how would you um, describe this game? I mean, I don't know. The opening was a bit strange. I didn't want to think too much about it because it was so complicated. I just thought his king will be weak long term. So even if he has a good position, it's it's going to be... Okay, I mean, and then of course he blundered, but he's already lost because queen b5 I can take on a... Well, take on a7, maybe there's bishop b3. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can just defend b3 with like queen e3 and then pile up on on uh, a7 slowly, so I should be winning. Wait, at what point? At the very, I mean, he mouse lift queen b6, but uh, like queen b5 looks like the most, the only move, I guess. But you take on a7 with the bishop, right? But then bishop takes b3, so it's not so easy. Wait. Mm, really? Bishop b6? Oh, no, then I, I have bishop takes b8, sorry. Uh, that's simple. Ah, oh, in that case, he's just over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bishop takes b8 and king c1. Bishop a4, king yeah. c1. Yeah, 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 that's over. But um, I don't know when it got bad for him because it seemed very, very unclear, and then suddenly, uh, suddenly it just got bad. I don't know which moment. Maybe, I mean, it was such a complicated game. Maybe king b8 was not very good. Probably. It felt like you were always um, just having more than him in terms of strategic. strategic well, my king is safe. That's right? the main thing. Yeah. My king is just safer. I thought his opening is very risky. Yeah. Um, Who do you think is going to win the World Cup? The World Cup? Mm -hmm. We're not talking chess anymore. No. I don't know. I, I just don't follow football. So I, I don't really, you know, I don't know who is like a favorite. We watched a lot of World Cup uh, in 2018. Yeah, but I, I never got into football. I don't have much interest in team sports for some reason. Too I like slow. individual sports. Too slow. Huh? Individual sports. Um, 
what have you been watching in terms of individual sports recently? I haven't watched much recently, but I do follow tennis a bit. Who's your favorite tennis player? That's tough. I mean, Nadal, Federer, or Djokovic? No, I probably wouldn't pick Federer. I mean, for me, it would be between Nadal and Djokovic at this point. So maybe slight by edge to Djokovic because, you know, he hasn't had, uh, like, he's behind on slams now, but he hasn't had all the chances to play that. Uh, but he still might catch up because. Um, I mean, Nadal has some injuries, yeah, that, that kind of play can bit well, Djokovic avoids injuries. Correct. For the most part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of amazing. These, uh, these guys are dominating for so long. I mean, Federer was so strong, even, it's been uh, like 20 even years, really right? up the end of his career. Yeah. Okay. Alcaraz at this point. Yeah. But, but still, uh, he's so young, so I guess it's hard to say, right? How, how great his legacy will be but but you could also see him winning like 20 slams right yeah 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 fabi five and a half out of six a bunch of other players on five and a half out of six and only martinez alcantara on six out of six wait who did uh who did Justin beat last round was it Spot? Sure. No, sure. no it must have been um let's see okay i think the games are about to start just checking who he beat. Uh, he beat Frugia. So that's, yeah, I started. I, I'm playing Gawain Jones. Verdenote. Good luck. All right. Fabi with the black pieces against Gawain Jones. Verdenote. Famous player from, um, from England. Aha. Uh -huh. So Verdenote, I think he's a Kings Indian player, actually, with the black pieces, a very famous Kings Indian player. That's all he played his entire career. Maybe recently he does something else, but for his whole life, uh, <coughs> played the Kings Indian, and he was very proficient at it. And now he's playing a reversed Grunfeld setup, which is, I mean, Fabi also was a Grunfeld player. So from that vantage point, it's a little bit risky to do that because obviously fabiano knows what he's doing against uh, the grunfeld but at the same time now we transition into something that resembles much more a catalan than a reverse grunfeld because white is going to try to corral the pawn on c4 knight to d2 most likely maybe even the other knight to d2 try to take it like this if knight to d2 then black can go uh, c3 if knight f d2 then black cannot go well he can go c3, but that's not going to help him because he would take with the knight. That's why, well, he plays with the other knight on d2, and now we enter this type of position. And then black's main problem in this type of structures is the bishop on c8. It's called uh, the Catalan bishop. Well, this is the Catalan bishop. I, actually, I'm not even sure which one is the Catalan bishop. Is it black's light square bishop or white light square bishop? Anyway, black's main problem in the Catalan is the bishop on c8 because there's a lot of pressure on b7 set up by the bishop on g2, and this bishop is kind of stuck, right? So if you solve the problem with the bishop on c8, then your position is going to be extremely healthy as black. Well, gift me that, but I'm not sure if I like this, because now rook c7 is coming. Oh, but that's a nice move. That is a really nice move. I think he probably missed this. So bishop to a6, that's a check. Winning a tempo and also kicking the king uh, away from the center because you cannot go king to e1 bishop to b4 would come and that would exchange that would actually win the exchange so a very nice setup found by fabi with this move b6 i'm still not frozen which is very very good my cats are going a bit crazy here i'm not 100 sure what they're doing <laughs> hey cats my cats are going crazy uh great showcase of two bishops yes 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 this is a very nice showcase by by fabi bishop to a3 now are you going to try to keep the rook on c7 with the move rook to c3 which he does so now take take aha uh -huh, bishop to d6 oh 
That's a nice, nice. <laughs> Dude, they're so good. 2700s is like a cheat code. 2800s almost. They just see everything. Bishop a3, rook to c3, destabilize the rook because you couldn't play bishop d6 with the rook on c1. Rook takes a7 would uh, be played and knight was defending that rook. So this uh, maneuver, bishop a3 and bishop to d6, forced the exchange of the rooks. e5, bishop b4, and now we're going to start pushing the pawns on the king side. Still, the position is, I want to say, close to equality, uh, but it is Fabi for sure who, who presses at this point. Do I have cats? Yeah, I have a couple of cats. A couple of black cats. They're being very mischievous. Is that how you say mischievous? Mischievous. I think that's how you say it. Bishop to c4 ideas, followed by a4, but it's very dangerous to allow the pawn to go to d6. That's going to be connect 5. I mean, you generally don't want to see connect 4 on the board, but connect 5, I mean, that's extremely dangerous. That's why he takes on d5. Good decision by Fabi. Get the king to e7, centralize the king. As I was saying, it's not easy. You have ideas of a... F wait, 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 wait. a4, I think, has to be played right now. Knight to d4, bishop c5. And if you go back, then I go bishop c5 and start attacking your pawns. Bishop f1? Whoa, what? Huh? K? KSSO. <laughs> it's a crime. I have cats, but I don't show them. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. You guys are funny. I mean, I don't know where they are. I just hear them right now. They're doing some, some funny business in the room. Show PP. <laughs> okay. Bishop is looking at the B1 square. Try to put some pressure. Has to press him in the clock. Exactly. Yes. So go Bishop B1. Knight D2, Bishop C5. And then get the Bishop back to D3. Right? Kick the king away. No, he goes. What are you guys doing there? I found one of the culprit. I found one of the culprit. There we go. He's purring. You cannot even see him. He's uh he's a very There it is. There's dummy. Get out of here, dummy. I like white more now. Um, I No, I don't think white can be better in this position. Mm, I don't like this, this allowing e6. It's a very dangerous move. His name is Dami. Uh, from Damiano. D-A-M-I. It's not D-U-M-M-Y, as in a dummy cat. <laughs> I like the two bishops. Okay. Bishop D4. Ah, Bishop D4, Knight C3. That's a good find. So, uh, whoa, whoa, King D6. Oh, man. B4, A4, wait, whoa, 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 take, 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 take on A2. Taking on A, what is he doing? B3, oh, B3 is coming. That's not going to help, just take. Yeah, this is over. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Whew, that was a good game. That was a good game.
That was a. <laughs> that was a good game. Well, I don't know if it was a good game, but I tricked him at the end with this A3. Yeah. I'm frozen again. So I'm going to try to. You're right back. Defreeze myself. All right. Let's see. There we go. There we go. I think I'm not frozen anymore. Um, yeah, that was a very nice game. Is uh, there a break? Okay, so six. This was round seven. Six and a half out of seven for Fabi. I think there's going to be another break after round eight. Yes. So uh, after next round, there's another six minute break. Yeah, trick him at the end. But okay, you found some some really nice moves. This B6 was uh, was a good move. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I had a clear advantage starting into that end game, and then I completely missed it. Definitely had no advantage at some point yeah. or many points. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hikaru, Hikaru lost. Okay, interesting. Who did he lose against? Um, uh, I see someone asked if I thought I was worse. I don't think so, because um, like at some point he could play e6, and I think. Very likely that he'll try to play knight g3, put the knight on h5, and I'll put my bishop on e8, uh, take the knight off, and we have obstacle bishops and a draw. Mm. So, is Rasmus winning this or or a draw? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> we just got the see. answer: a draw. Okay, six and a half out of seven. Only you and Chess Warrior. I think that's uh, Abdus Satorov. So, yeah, I, but I played Jospin. We just started the game. Okay, good luck. Jospam, big game, guys. Big, big, big game. Fabiano with the white pieces against Jospam, who is leading the tournament. He's perfect right now. Mr. Perfect at 7 out of 7. And actually probably streaming as well. Anyway, big game, guys. With the win, Fabiano takes the lead in the tournament. So um, he's not doing any funny business. He's playing serious stuff. Main line, Rui Lopez. He's, he's, uh, he's showing his uh, theoretical edge or at least he's trying to show his uh, theoretical edge bishop to c2 okay all right g6 jospam is trying to reshuffle this bishop uh, to uh, g7 d5 nicely timed now this bishop is kind of locked and at the right moment as white you have to go a4 depending on where the knight is going so black's idea is to Retreat the knight and then go c6 as fast as possible. That's why he plays b3 to follow c6 with c4. Solidify this sort of like a spear shaped pawn structure. What's the meaning of caruana? What? Why are you guys asking uh, the tough questions? <laughs> uh, he's not from Mexico. No, 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 no. He's, he's from Peru. I'm actually not sure why it shows Mexico. Yeah. Another player that I tried to get to university and actually went to Webster. Sort of felt betrayed. We were so close to getting uh, Jospam. And then uh, he decided not to come to university. And then two years later, he decided to go to a different university. Big betrayals. The car is in Tijuana. <laughs> Can you show the bar next to the board? I do not have a bar next to the board. Um, I, I, I do not have the uh, engine running. We shouldn't have the engine running. I think we were doing that in the first couple of streams and then people were like, okay, you shouldn't do that during tournament. And that makes sense. I mean, there's no reason to do that. Christian is not okay. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? I'm not good at recruiting. We have the top uh, top rated player in the nation, Grigory Oparin. I'm I, I pride myself actually to be quite decent at recruiting. <laughs> you guys are sending serious attacks my way. Any Indian players you are trying to get to the university? Uh, we already have an Indian player. His name is uh, 
Harshit Raja. He's a grandmaster. The 69th grandmaster of uh, India. Oh, I think he missed this. This is looking good for Fabi. This is looking juicy, guys. Probably you have to go rookie seven, but Europe is down. If you take on F3, regain the piece, I take on E8. Okay, I understand. You have some compensation. Absolutely. No doubt about that. But I go on IT3. I defend the pawn on D5. Then I pick up the pawn on G2. Maybe I don't even have to take the pawn on G2. Actually, I'm, I'm not going to take the pawn on G2. I'm going to go rook C1. Yeah, this has to be winning. Uh, I, I, I think this is winning. Rook C1. Take the C file. Take control of the C file. Rook D1. What? What is the rook doing on D1? Knight C4. Trying to go to B6. Get another exchange. Rook to F8. I'm not necessarily liking what Fabi is doing, but uh, once again, he knows better. Uh, Queen G3. It's all about the D6 pawn right now. We're going to focus on that. That's the weakness in Black's position. And I don't see Black's counter chance. So now I'm starting to see it. But Rook to e6, you have to be careful. Queen takes e6 and then bishop takes a g2. So that's a tactic in the position that you have to worry about. Queen to h2 followed by hmm, rook to d4. Okay, so he's aiming at this pawn on h4. Now knight to f4 is coming next move. There's definitely some pitfalls that you have to be careful about. Queen to g5 might be the move in the position. Queen g5. Queen g4. Good enough. Good enough. I think this is winning. I think this is at this point just a matter of technique. Queen h4, defending the pawn on f2, picking up a pawn process as well, and targeting this e7 square. Oh, that's nice. That was an. I, I, this is over. This might actually just be over. If you go rookie eight, try to defend against rookie seven. We exchange that, and then rookie four, and the other rook is going to e7. If you go here, I go rook to f4, or knight takes d6. D6 followed by rook e7. That's an option. Rook f7 is going to be played. Rook to f4 followed by rook to e7. Or rook takes f6. Queen to g3. He's trying to get the queen to e5. Set up the pin like this. And then rook to f4. He's trying to be a uh, maximalist in the position. Queen to h8. Or d7 first. Queen to e3. Hmm. Okay, d7. If you take, take, queen to e7, that's a technical win. Yes. And he resigns. Fabi takes the lead in the tournament. Nice win. Very nice win. Yeah, that was, um, that seemed, I mean, he just blundered. I thought his idea when he took on d5 and e4 was to play after bishop g5, f6. And uh, at what point? Well, after e4. At move one? E5. Right. <laughs> um, wait, when did you play E4? No, he played E4. I mean, I played E4 in the first move, but he played E4 later on. Ah, right, 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. E4? Bishop I played G5? Bishop to G5 F6, here. right? Yeah, yeah, F6. I don't know what the... It's very unclear. I mean, yeah, I thought maybe... Nice play F6. Probably better for white, but not very clear, right? But Bishop F6, he blundered Bishop B5. It's... Uh, he probably thought that he was getting some sort of advantage already. Yeah, he missed bishop b5. Yeah, I think I think he must miss. I mean, after that, it's just uh, very bad. It is just it down is. exchange for nothing. It is no it compensation is. for it. It is here. It's very unclear. I don't know what does the engine say. I'm kind of curious. After f6, let's see. Turn on the eval. Um, yeah, black is slightly better. Ah, black is already slightly better. Wow. Yeah. Rook takes c4. Rook takes e4, take on e4, and take on g5, and he has the two bishops. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. after bishop f6, okay. it's just game. Yeah, bishop f6 was a blunder. So, okay, so I'm likely to play one of the guys on seven. So you're on seven and a half, uh, leading competition right now. Going in the last three, Big Fish, Chess Panda, Yu Yang Yi, uh, Fedosev, and Yospem, seven out of eight. And then a bunch of guys at six and a half, including Hikaru, Firuja, Abdus Atorov, who yeah. probably I lost. I mean, this is a huge group. Huge group at six and a half. We'll start to pull, up, pull away with some wins from the rest of the group. And uh, 
so yeah it's it's quite tight it's not very um not very uh like I, i'm not i don't have a big lead here no by the way what is this flag that big fish that fedo save has what flag is that um i recognize it that's samoa samoa <laughs> samoa yes Oh, Samoa, yes. Yeah, uh, nice win, nice win, Fabi, nice wins. So still three to go. Last three championship rounds. <clears throat> so far, it, it seems like you're in pretty decent shape, seeing a lot of things. Um, I mean, I was I started out in bad shape, but somehow got some form back. It looks like. Definitely seems like definitely seems like i'm going to go away for uh two seconds okay. right back yeah 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 go get some rest go get some rest boom all right all right all right all right uh yeah free to go this is not bad guys this is not bad let's see oh did i I froze again. Why am I always freezing, guys? Why am I always freezing? All right, let's try to be back. Am I back? I'm back. Unfrozen. Unfrozen. Yeah. Um, good tournament so far. Good title Tuesday. Fabi's doing well, winning some important games, playing actually pretty stiff competition. Uh, Jospem, he was leading the tournament, and actually this felt extremely smooth. Alex Enko, former candidate player, 2700 also. Um, Verde Note, Gawain Jones, 2700 player level at least. Maybe a bit lower rated right now, but still very decent. So he's been having pretty stiff competition and doing well. So that's good. It's called around you, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, thank you very much for the super chat, Eric Guzman. I think I missed the second one. Um, we appreciate the support. Thank you very much. All right, I'm back. You're back. <laughs> you should check the timestamp to see your face when it was frozen. <laughs> yeah, okay, I have the system to uh, unfreeze myself very quickly, but it, it it definitely happens. I think there is a way to to deal with this. There is a way to deal with this. I think from from Streamlabs, but I just don't have time to research it right now. I will do it after the stream. So Say something in <laughs> Romania. Ce vrei să spun? Vrei să-ți povestesc despre turneul meu din St. Louis? All right, there we go. Spoken some Romanian. Actually, it's interesting. Fabi, you don't speak any Italian, right? No, I speak some, but uh, haven't spoken in years and years, so I don't really remember. And my accent is, uh, is quite bad <laughs> as well. So you're basically first generation, right? You're a first generation American? Yeah, yeah my, your mom my is uh, grew my up mom in is Italy, Italian. right? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When when did she move to the U.S.? Uh, when she was like young adult, uh -huh. around, so around the age 20, of eighteen, yeah. something. Like yeah, that. late late teens or early twenties around that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, first uh, first generation. Can we get a Rui Lopez? We you just literally got a Rui Lopez. You just got a Rui Lopez. I mean, you know, when we get opening requests, we saw what happened when I tried to play the Stafford <laughs> okay. in like 20 games. I I got one chance. <laughs> the Stafford. Not 20 games, 18 games. I got one chance. <laughs> was a bit painful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you say my name is Fabi in Italian? No, no, we're not going to speak Italian here. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to subject people to my accent. 
Yep, yep. Fabi looks like an Italian mobster. Elephant oh, Gambit. Not sure. Elephant Gambit. Um, I don't even know what that is. What is the elephant? That's E4, E5, Knight of 3, D5. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's worse openings, but it's quite... Next time. It might be better than the Stafford, but the thing with the Stafford is you, you can play it, and then you just play down a pawn. Well, with the Elephant, you actually have to know what you're doing. Um, I mean, with the Stafford, you just accept your pawn down, and then you just develop your pieces and try to make a mess of it. But the Elephant, you actually have to know what to do, otherwise you just lose from the very beginning. <laughs> Do any of you speak Russian? I don't speak Russian. Do you speak any Russian? I speak zero Russian. You don't speak any Russian, right? You, me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I speak uh, English, uh, Romanian, and I can understand Spanish and. Well, Spanish. Romanian is so similar to other Romance languages that you must. Yep. You must be able to learn it quite easily if you wanted to learn Italian, Spanish. And French, yeah. French. French, Actually, I guess. Uh, pretty good in French. Accent is quite, the sounds are quite different, right? They are, but in fact, it was very easy for me to learn French when I was a kid. So I learned it, uh, I lived in France for like a few months. And by the end of my stay in France, at the beginning, I wasn't speaking pretty much any French. By the end of it, I could give interviews in, in, in French. Mm -hmm. um, I picked it up very quickly, even easier than English. It seemed like I, I completely forgotten it, though. I haven't used it and I completely forgotten it. Yeah, it's easy to forget languages when you don't practice. Yeah. You guys are going to get frozen. You are frozen. That is. I'm always frozen. Fortunately, it's, it's cold. It's winter. It, it, it is. Actually, we got the first snow last night. Yeah. We, we did get the first snow last night, so maybe that's why. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting back. I'm getting back. It's going to take a little, like 10 more seconds. There we go. I'm unfrozen. I have the system down. Um, do I know any Hungarian? No, Hungarian is extremely, extremely difficult. Actually, probably one of the most difficult languages to learn in the world. It's also not similar to anything. Exactly. Exactly. It doesn't sound like other languages. It doesn't have similar words. It doesn't have, I don't know about the grammatical structure, but it's it's very, very unique as a language. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think people assume that because all these countries are kind of close together, that they might have similar sounds, but uh, but Hungarian is unique. Yeah? I mean, all the other countries in this Middle European, I mean, they're all very, very similar now, yeah? but uh, I mean, not all, but uh, many are very similar. Yeah. They're like in this um, Austria, Germany, Switzerland. And, uh, I mean, but what do Hungarian they speak is in, in, in Switzerland. It depends on the region. Uh, they'll either speak French or German or Italian. Is or there, they have their own. Is there a Swiss language? They have their own. Uh, my game just started. I'm playing Yu Yang Yi, so I'll just. Okay, good luck. Restart this after. We'll continue the uh, language discussion after this big game between Yu Yang Yi and Fabiano. Yu Yang Yi with seven points, trailing Fabiano by half a point. Everybody's trailing Fabiano by half a point. Fabiano decides to go with the Rui Lopez. Okay, you wanted Rui Lopez with white, you got one with white, now you get one with black. So don't say we don't give the chat what they want. Don't ever say we don't give the chat what they want. <laughs> Which opening is the best for classical? I mean, um, there's a lot of very good openings. Rui Lopez is one of them. Everybody plays it. The Berlin, obviously, extremely good. The Petrov is uh, extremely good as well. So, yeah, there's... There's definitely a, a lot of very good openings. And against D4, I mean, Grunfeld, my favorite opening. Um, I wouldn't say it's extremely good at top level because everybody's, I mean, you have to remember all your theory 
and you have to if you don't then you get punished very quickly and it's very easy to get punished if you want something more solid then you just play something along the lines of the king's gambit ragozin sorry not king's gambit queen's uh qgd queen's gambit decline queen's gambit accepted things of that nature face-to-face -face openings d4 d5 type of things flip the board yes sorry about that there we go we get Fabiano POV A5. He's trying to expand on the king side. Yang is actually in tremendous shape right now. He's been playing really well. Fall chess classic. Um, dominated the field of around 2700. So a lot of 2700s. Vidit was there. Oparin 2690 was there. And uh, he just dominated it. So he's good. He's good. He's in good shape. He's confident right now. So definitely a very difficult pairing. But also he's like 3081. He's actually the rating favorite in this matchup. Knight to d7, knight to c5. I like this idea. I like the post up with uh, the pawns, a5 and b6. And uh, the knight coming to c5, putting some pressure on b3. At the same time, the knight is beautiful on c5. But what does it do? I guess black's, pawn, black's, pawn sh black's plan should uh, be related to the move b5 my goodness what was that <laughs> does Fabi have to do neck exercises to carry the crowd <laughs> you're gonna have to ask him that uh strong strong neck huh? rook a5 rook a8 that's an idea yes rook a5 rook a8 and of course white will never take on a5 so that's one thing white will never do. Take on a5 and allow black to get a pass pawn on the a file. That would be actually strategically losing for white. So he has to sidestep this uh, tension on the a file with the move rook to b1, rook to b8, and ideas of b5 are starting to show up in the position. Did I freeze again? My goodness, guys. I'm frozen. Frozen like Elsa. As they say all right I'll, I'll unfreeze myself you're just gonna have to get used to my my voice my asmr voice and uh, fabiano's still unfrozen face for another 20 seconds i believe 20 seconds and you're gonna get it all right let's see let's see less than five seconds there we go i'm back unfrozen right on cue all right how are we doing in the position guys rook to a3 okay rook to a3 ah, i think i know why i'm frozen but i cannot solve it right now uh so rook to a3 fabi putting a lot of pressure now black doesn't seem to want to take on c5 I'm not sure why. At some point, he will have to take on c5. Maybe even now. Knight to c5 and replace that knight on b3 with the other knight coming to b3. I think this is what he's going for. So Fabi decides to take with a b-pawn. But this right now feels extremely, extremely equal. So queen a5. Yeah, we exchange. This feels extremely equal. It's still Fabi who's a bit more active. Um, but I don't see this one going any other way but a, a draw unless one of the players make a big mistake i don't think that's going to happen but again that's my guess um thank you very much for the super chat lone star eight uh jobava london good opening i don't think it's going to be played in this tournament again it seems like fabi is playing very serious openings in this one he really wants to win uh the tournament and right now he's having some decent chances but okay knight to e3 what was this move queen to a4 not really a big fan of this move queen to a4 it feels like it just helps white queen here okay queen to d2 ideas now we start mm. i'm not sure about this guys i'm really not sure about this so you can do this and this and then take with the queen on e4 that's an option 
So queen d2, queen takes f7, queen d4. If you take with the knight on e4, then queen to f7, and then you have ideas of queen to f5. Yeah, I think he's going for it. Queen d3 or queen d4, both with the same idea of taking on uh, e4. With the queen, and this is a very strange position. Again, I was saying that somebody might make a mistake. I hope it's not going to be Fabi. Now, queen to f3, queen to f5, take, take, and it feels like white is the one pressing in the position. So I think you have to be careful about it. 41 seconds for Fabiano. By the way, you have to find a way to defend this pawn on d6 or not. Yeah, I think queen to f5 is going to come. You cannot take on uh, d6. Knight to e4 uh, will be problematic. Yes, queen to f5. We exchange. Knight to e8. King to g6. King to f6 next. Try to destabilize the knight on f5. That's key. h5 is an option, but then I'm going to go g6. Yes, g6 immediately. G6, take, take, G4, H5, F3, we exchange that, and then King to G5 and picks up the pawn on G4. So that would have given Black the initiative. He decides to retreat with the move Knight to E3. It's still Black that has a little bit of an edge in the position. Just a tiny bit of an edge in the position. Maybe not anymore. Now, okay, he's trying to go to... King G5 is coming. King G5, yes. Don't allow the king to f4. Knight to d4 is going to come next move. Okay, he's really trying. Knight to d2, I really like that move. By the way, two seconds, I just realized. Yu Yang Yi has two seconds. Knight to f5 has to be played, right? No, he's trying to transfer to e5. King e4, okay. It's starting to look promising, guys. Maybe here, here, yeah? King d3, king takes c4. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give me that pawn as well. This is promising. Uh, king e4, right? c4, why not? King e5, yeah. Oh, this is looking good. c3, keep pushing. Yes, 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 he's going for it. He's gonna get it, boys. He got it. There we go. There we go. And we cracked a thousand viewers. Nice win. Nice win. Yeah, that was uh <laughs> that was a good one. That was pretty dumb. Whew. <laughs> that was a good I mean, I had a very nice position for most of the game. And then suddenly, I don't know, I'm just moving my queen back and forth like an, like an idiot. Suddenly I'm like borderline losing after queen d7. And I found this queen d2, which was I think very important. And then maybe I'm okay, but it I mean, I should never win this, right? This end game. But he was low on time. He started to get a little bit uh, um, that nervous. Was, and, that, that, yeah. was, that was really good. That was really good. All right. Give me just one second. Let me try to fix this freeze. You keep freezing me, Fabi. One second. Um, so you're actually a point ahead, yeah? Okay, that's not bad. Oh, uh, a point ahead, yeah. That's that's a good situation to be in. Let's see. Like point ahead. But I'll probably play someone, Furuja, Hikaru. Uh, I mean, I, okay, actually, I could play many of these people on seven and a half, so it's hard to say, but uh, Furuja and Hikaru are also quite likely. Um, hard to say. I mean, I could, I could play Bogdan, I could play... Uh, there's one more game going on. Bakro, many guys. Oh, Bakro is here. Bakro is a seven and a half out of nine. Who is Bakro? Ah, Baki eighty three. Yeah. Baki eighty three. Knight hmm. of Ram. <laughs> <laughs> the Knight of Ram. Yeah. Uh, is Jeffrey in the chat? I think he was at the beginning of. Okay, Maybe. there we go. There we go. Round ten just about to start. Yeah, let's see who I get. I get Hikaru. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Big one. There we go, boys. 
This is the big one. Fabi versus Icaro. Where is where is the game? Where is the game? Where is the game? Show me the game, guys. Show me the game. Just account. Stop glitching. Show me the game. Um, yeah, it's glitching right now. I don't see the game. Guys, what is happening? Oh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. Fabi versus Hikaru, guys. For all the marbles, for all the marbles, Hikaru is uh, trailing by one point, so he definitely needs to win this one if he wants uh, to uh, try to win the event. Fabiano has the luxury of being one point ahead of the pack, so we got a lot of outs right now but another Rui Lopez so you see you asked for a Rui Lopez you're getting three Rui Lopez in a row c4 putting some uh, pressure in the center trying to potentially get the knight to d5 b4 closing things up and now the focus is going to be against Bishop b3 this is not a perk no 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 <laughs> this is a Rui Lopez this is a Rui Lopez uh, specifically the Morphe defense okay h3 it's all about maneuvering at this point. And that's why you see this knight d8, knight c6, trying to find the best optimal squares for your pieces. Knight to d5, don't take on d5 because c takes d5 with a rook on c1, puts a lot of pressure on the queen on c7. And you don't have to move knight to d4, bishop to a4, bishop to d7, just simple defense of the knight on c6. Knight to d4 at the right moment is going to come. You have to be a bit careful because bishop takes d7 and then, okay, take, take, and now knight d4, right? That probably is the best way forward. Knight to e7 is also a move. Yeah, why not, actually? Don't exchange the knight on f3. The knight on f3 is not a good piece for white. I like what Fabi is doing. I think he's gaining uh, maybe even an edge in the position because he's the only one that has an active plan available, and that is related to the move f5. Knight to h2. Potentially trying to hide this square a g4 f5 is uh, the obvious choice for black in the position which he goes for and by the way fabi is up on time that's very encouraging f4 let's exchange this bishop to c1 i mean look this is an ideal situation for Fabi fabiano right now he's definitely the one um with the better chances in the position king to h7 g5 at the right moment rook to a2 okay yeah this is looking really good guys this is looking really good it's all about the nerves right now who's going to manage their nerves better in the ensuing most likely time trouble situation g3 trying to uh, attack this pawn on g4 change the structure fabiano says sure we'll change the structure but on my terms you take i take back i don't want to open up the f file and allow your rook to uh, gain control and potentially create some unpleasantries against my king so um i really like what he's doing knight to f3 queen to f7 okay so with the knight gone now my knight doesn't have to guard the c4 square so at the right moment i will be able to reroute my knight to f6 and involve it into the attack queen to uh, c2 now the rook is going to f8 maybe it's time to take maybe it's finally time to take okay he says no he says no h5 okay he's going for g4 uh, white has to play g4 what bishop h6 right bishop h6 yes are we going to see g4 from uh, hikaru I think take and g4 is uh, uh, an active threat right now. Hikaru doesn't believe in active threats. He doesn't believe there is one. So he goes rook to g1. Now there's a lot of tension in the position. A lot of tension is building up right now in this position. Who's going to crack first? Is Fabi going to take? Is Hikaru going to take on f4? Is Hikaru going to go g4? these are the questions that these players have to answer with only a few seconds on their clocks taking on f4 okay big moment big decision bishop to d2 
Okay, how do you approach this position? You have to give a job to this knight. So get this knight back into the game. Maybe knight c8. Rook to g8, exchange the rooks. Or at least that's what Fabi is proposing. Uh, rook to a8. I don't think you want to allow this rook to uh, penetrate via the a7 square. I don't think you want to see that. At the same time, with the rook on g8, you have some mating threats. Queen g6, queen to g2. Okay, this is a very, very tense game. Very tense game, guys. Take, take. Knight to h4. Mm. I don't like this sighting. I, 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 I don't like this sighting. I'm not a big fan of it. Knight. Get this knight out. Get this knight out. Oh, the knight is going to d4. Never mind. Ooh. Who's outplaying who in this position? Knight to a3. Close the a file, but then bishop c1 is coming. Man, this is such a complex battle. Such a complex battle. Queen to a1 was a really good move. Knight to d4. Hmm. We're going to see this exchange happen. And now, I, I, I don't even know how to assess this position. I truly don't know how to, to assess this position. I think it's still very close to equality, something like bishop to g5. Yeah, bishop g5 and exchange the queens. But Fabi says no. He, I, I'm not a big fan of this. Now there's bishop, queen h, queen f5. If you go queen h4, queen f5, and then pick up the pawn on f4. I don't like this move, queen to f6 by Fabi. All right. Bishop to e1. 20 seconds against 40 seconds. Don't go queen g6 because of bishop to h4. You have to be careful about that. Uh, king to f8, getting off this pin. Okay, get back. g7. Okay. All right, so let's not forget, Fabi is leading tournament by a significant margin. So a draw is okay. A draw is fine. A draw is actually fine. He's going to go queen e8. He has to go queen e8. Very, very tense. Very, very tense position. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, never mind. False alarm. Super tense. So Hikari is trying to hide the king and then do something. Hide the king and then do something. I'm not sure what, but he's going to try to find something. Okay, queen h4, you have to go back. Defend the pawn on h3, and I go back. 20 seconds against 11 seconds. This one is going down the wire, guys. Down the wire. Okay. Queen g5, queen e6, that's a check. King f8, bishop f4 is not possible. But what do you do next? King to e8. King to e8, king to f8, king to f7. Oh my goodness, Hikaru is going from behind, but Fabi goes for... What's happening here, guys? King to d8, queen to f5, queen to g3. Going to pick up one of the pawns. Queen to h5, never mind. I'm not going to pick up any of the pawns. But now let's go for this one. Queen e2. Let's go for it. Yes. 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 Take. Check. Take. Go. Fabi. Let's go, baby. Let's go, c3. That's okay. Take on b2. Yes, yes, yes. Five seconds. Oh, this is winning. Oh, this is a nice win. b3. Woo! He took him down. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that was a good one. That was uh Let's go. I mean, I must have been lost, right? Was I lost? I have no clue. I was just uh, trying to hold on, not to blunder. And then I blundered my pawns, but I got my queen in. It was quite, <laughs> quite lucky, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean... Okay. The queen oh, got in bit, via uh, G2. I mean, it was such a tense game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I was much, much better at some point. With yes. my pawn in F4, I feel like I'm much better. Yes. But I couldn't find a way to break through, and then then things just went wrong. Like, he organized everything perfectly. It was probably equal, but then it was difficult to play for me. 
he got the queen in, I, things started to go very wrong, and then I just had to wait passively, which was really unpleasant. Yep. Yeah. Um, like knight d4 is a terrible decision. Why don't I just keep the knight? I can never lose. <laughs> I mean, why would I change the structure? I don't understand. I keep the knight, and my structure is so solid, he has no way to to really attack it. But of course, it's more pleasant for him because. No, I think knight d4 was good. Mm, I don't know. I, I didn't like it. But then, how do you defend against the invasion? I mean, queen a6, queen a8 is coming. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. He only has a queen attacking. Uh, my only weakness is d6. Uh, but it's, uh, it's kind of unpleasant practically because it he's is. the one who, who has like the more activity and more chances to attack stuff. It is. It is. Well, one more. One more. Got to finish. Uh, Got to gotta finish the job. Last one. One point lead. Probably Firuja or Bogdan Dak. One of the two. Um, yeah, yeah, it seems. I mean, for me, a draw is just uh, very good. Yeah. A draw is a straight up win, yes, obviously. So that's that's good. Huge, huge W, man. Nice, nice. Let's uh, let's finish the job. As uh, a great uh, man once said, the job is not finished. Yeah, it's still one game, and I'm a little bit uh, nervous at the moment because it was quite a tense game. Um, Am I frozen? No. No, no, you're moving. I'm moving. You're good. <laughs> Incredible. I survived. Yeah, yeah, I see. I mean, Hikaru was definitely winning. I see someone in the chat say, like, it's... He was, uh, he was doing it all right. And then once my queen invaded, suddenly things went... But he blundered b3. I mean, many things went wrong for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! All right, Firuja. Most likely. Are there still any games left? Ah, there's still some games left. Okay, drop stone. Just finished in the draw and then this I only one see one game left. Yeah, only this one. No, I think it's clear that I play either Bogdan or Frusia. Yep. They're hard to find other options. I mean <laughs> Yep. 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 All right. Let's finish strong. Yeah, Last I'm one. playing Frusia with White. Good luck. All right, boys, let's get the energy up in the chat. Let's get some energy down for Fabi, yeah? Fabiano versus Firuja in the last one. Last man standing. Firuja goes with the Perts. He's going for the kill. Never mind. What am I talking about? This is not the Perts. This is the King's Indian. Holy smokes. I need to regain my senses, guys. That was a tense game. Let's get some, uh, some energy in the chat, boys. Let's go! All right, a super aggressive opening by Firuja. He definitely uh, feels like, well, he knows that he needs to win. Um, but the good thing about this is that uh, Fabi is also a King's Indian player. He actually plays, plays this, well, on occasion whenever he needs to win. He played against uh, Alex Landerman in the US Champs. He played against a couple of very strong players. So he knows what he needs to do as well. Also, his both an e4 d4 c4 player so he 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 knows what he's doing take the energy yes 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 make sure you boys are giving the energy to fabi all he needs is a, a draw to clinch clear first now we're not talking about the tie breaks the tie breaks might be good as well and might be enough but we're not thinking about tie breaks right now we have to clinch clear first this is what we want clear first guys Fabi needs to use his classical lines right now. Okay, d5. And now the question is, okay, d5, bishop to g5. Again, a draw is enough. So that's that's good because a lot of exchanges can happen. Knight takes c4, for example, and then you go knight d5, and then we exchange everything on f6. He decides to go with f takes e4 and ideas of knight d5. I like what he's doing. So h6, for example, you don't have time for that because I go knight to d5 and then you're actually in big trouble. How do you defend against knight d5? I guess knight b6, queen c5 is Firuja's choice. Bishop to e3 with ideas of knight to f5, discovery attacks against the queen and the bishop on g7. This one is looking juicy, boys. Queen has dropped back to e7 or f8. You have to hide that queen somewhere. You cannot go to c8 because then the knight is going to come with a tempo via b5 to d6 or c7. So that's problematic. Queen to e5, bishop to f4. Keep hunting that queen. Knight to b5 with the idea of bishop to f4 is an option as well. 
thank you very much for the super chats guys thanks for the energy thanks for the support in the chat bishop to f4 harass the queen knight to b5 and now straight into those money squares the c7 square but mm, there are some difficulties on the dark squares right now knight to d6 i see this one pending in the position but how do you follow it after that okay this one is not easy guys this game is not easy if uh, black manages to finish his development with bishop to e6 or bishop to d7 followed by rook to c8 maybe even bishop to g4 then from a strategical point of view white could have some difficulties in the position you have to be extremely careful but one thing that is extremely encouraging about the position is the time <laughs> it's not the position it's the time king to h1 good uh, prophylactic move you cannot move this bishop because of knight takes b7 so now i'm starting to feel like fabi is outplaying his opponent b4 is a big threat big threat in the position b4 queen takes b4 and bishop takes c5 you don't have any squares to keep the defense alive for the knight on e5 so wait 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 whoa 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 guys am i s before he's winning before he finishes the, the game on the spot no he misses it ah but there's knight takes f7 queen takes e5 knight takes f7 this is winning also oh <laughs> i guess this is good enough i think this is over this might actually just be over this might actually just be over knight takes f7 i don't think we're missing anything yep 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 this this one is gg bishop to c4 gg i think resignation is coming Whew. no chance fab is taking no prisoners today he is really on this he he, he wants this queen d1 queen d2 queen anywhere just defend the rook on d8 yeah queen d3 queen c4 is coming fabi wants this and he wants it bad king e7 there's going to be a very nice rook takes f6 if he goes for that fabi wants this and he wants it bad 18 seconds pure domination in the position nothing is going to change there's no weaknesses in white's position Fabi is going to take Firuja down and win this one outright. Dominant performance, boys. King to e6, knight to b5 is a very nice way to finish the game. You have a million ways to finish the game right now. Uh, ah, ha, ha, bishop g4 is probably very nice. Take and then queen d5. e5 is also completely winning. Yup. It's official. It's official. The first title Tuesday, baby. You know, it was funny. Uh, <laughs> like after Queen takes e5, I don't know if it shows that he offered a draw, which was kind of funny. Did he really? Wait. Yeah, this is why I was I was like hesitating, but I was up a minute. I mean, up ah, a you mean Queen takes e5? Uh... No, no, because he saw after he knight played... takes f7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After he played, after I played bishop e5, he saw that knight takes f7 is winning, so he offered a draw, thinking, okay, I might take it because uh, I win the tournament. But yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is too much. I mean, I'm up a minute and. <laughs> full rook almost yeah i gotta put this uh instill some some fear into these kids all right very nice man first title tuesday victory of uh your career initial thoughts right now let's get the energy up in the chat guys let's get the energy up in the chat initial thoughts okay it was it was fun i mean <laughs> you know i i got some luck for sure to win this one you know it's uh some important moments against hikaru against uh who else did i have some against yu yang yi yeah some some important last minute you know time trouble uh wins that were very important alexenko uh verdenote actually no, no alexenko i drew that was the opposite i was winning ah, that. that was the only draw you actually made this tournament and you were completely winning in that one as well no today i mean i have to say the the, the level was quite high um clean yeah, games overall, for the most part yeah maybe hikaru was a bit shaky but obviously you were going to have some shaky uh some shaky games along the way but outside of that i think most of them were very very clean no, that, that was definitely a shaky one against Hikaru. I mean, if I lost that, then 
that was really important because you know then we're tied and anything happens yeah, but uh, yeah. that was quite important yeah yeah we need celebration we need dance celebration people are asking for the the, the <laughs> dance celebration there's no dance celebration there you guys no <laughs> no no dancing no dancing no we're dancing. against dancing dancing is no dancing some romancing but uh yeah that's uh actually after queen c5 i did not even see bishop takes c5 at the end i thought that you're going to go uh b4 yeah i was pretty i mean you saw b4 is like right? the first the first thing that comes to mind but bishop takes e5 is just very clean cut yeah 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 i mean yeah. before also wins yeah I, I don't i don't really understand what happened he, he just wanted to win so badly that he kind of stopped evaluating things correctly yeah 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 no um that was a good one so the first title tuesday victory still uh yeah i mean usually when the dam bursts you know uh that's when we start getting no no I'm, I'm i'm so inconsistent in these online things so uh, really, should, really... should, should dance no no man man don't dance man don't dance man don't dance. man's not hot and man don't dance too <laughs> Very important uh, life rules, yeah. Two important things to consider. Uh, Jason Collette, thank you very much for the 25 super chat. We appreciate that. Congratulations, Fabiano. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Jason. So what's the plan for this week? What are we, uh, are we playing, by the way, that late title Tuesday? I might play, I don't know. I'll see how I feel. It's, it's quite a lot of chess for one day, but I'll, I usually play two. But that's because I usually do poorly in the first and I want to come back a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, well, definitely not on the stream. Um, usually busy on Tuesdays. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy week. Flying to New York for a day tomorrow. Do some uh, Kasparov Chess Foundation event. Then mm -hmm. flying next day. And we're supposedly doing a podcast on Thursday. Uh, that's probably going to be a live situation from St. Louis. Yeah, we might have to to wing it a bit. Is that the plan? Are are we doing a live from St. Louis? I guess so. You know, it's uh, it's difficult because it's some busy weeks for both of us. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah we might have to wing it, but it should be it should be an interesting one. I mean, we don't really. There's no recent news because you know we had at some point we had so much to talk about because mm -hmm. there was the whole you know Hans drama unfolding mm -hmm. pretty much in real time. And now it's uh, it's quieted down. There's, there's not so much news there. Uh, at some point, you know, we'll see the chess.com, Hikaru, Magnus give their response mm -hmm. to the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. But until then, we don't have much to talk about. The chess world is quiet. There's some events going on, right? Uh, the, the Magnus tour. That's a big um, one. We can definitely uh, chit chat a, a little bit about what's, that. What's it called? This, it's Meltwater, right? I think it's Meltwater, yeah. It's, it's definitely Meltwater, not the FTX Crypto Cup. It's the finals. So rundown of yesterday was uh, Magnus won, right? He did. Magnus won. Who won between Pragmanta and Chakriar? That's a good question. Um, I have to say I have not followed that one closely. Um, I, I did not even see the games. I think I caught one game. Uh, Magnus yeah, versus yesterday was so busy that uh, I I feel like Shakriar won just narrowly, two and a half, one and a half. And I, I think agree. Anish might have also won. Even also, but I don't want to to say that if it's not true. I feel like he did, but um, but yeah, it's it's quite a big tournament as well. Shock one, Chad is saying. It's a huge tournament, Very... but Magnus already won the tour, right? Really? So it's a bit anticlimactic. Yeah. <coughs> I think he already won. He won the tour before the final event. Yeah, yeah I think which so. Is, which is called the final. I I, I I want to say that that's the case. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that. Because sure? that would be a very strange system where you could win it before the final. Because that... I mean, you, you have a necessity for a, a final, which has some intrigue left. We need to listen to, to, to the chat. Maybe the chat will tell us. Chat, tell us, did Magnus already win the entire tour? 
somebody says yes. Um, I, I I do think that was the case after the last one. After the last one, they played. Um, I don't even remember where they played. Yeah, someone is saying James Apple saying that he's already out of reach. Yes. Yes. So uh, that's uh yeah that takes the interest out of it. Anticlimactic. I mean, uh, anticlimactic. Yeah. There's still yeah. the chess interest. You know the chess games are interesting, but the tournament itself loses uh, quite a lot of interest. Yep. So we'll talk about that. Um, what else is new in the chess world? Yeah, you're you, you're you're right. Things kind of slow down towards the end of the year. Yeah. Um, I mean everybody was super excited. Singfield Cup, U.S. Champs, uh, the lawsuit, and then things just quiet down. Well, there's the World Rapid and Blitz over the holidays. World Rapid and Blitz, that's that's coming. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, we can definitely preface that. Um, I think I'll play. Yeah. I'll probably play. Yeah. Should we? Sh sh we'll let the chat maybe decide on this one, whether we're actually going to do, we're going to set up some 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 live commentary for your games or or not. Yeah. I'll decide. I'll decide. <laughs> I mean, it is Christmas. It is Christmas, but I might as well. We might as well do it. We'll see. We'll see. So that's going to be an interesting one. Um, but yeah, we'll resume on Thursday. I think there's going to be some some videos dropping on YouTube. So if you haven't uh, subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video. Help, uh, help yeah, support we'll have, the channel. Um, we'll have some content coming through, which was filmed in Toronto. Yeah, you're in Toronto. Uh, for the CGC and that was a lot of fun there was a lot of uh, fun people around and a lot of content coming your way so I think people sure. might have already seen some of it uh, on some other content creators channels some of the similar stuff so we'll come out with some too similar but not the same yeah it, it, it's gonna be good anyway Fabi congrats again really good Thank tournament you. Uh, big big first initial victory and uh, yeah We'll see you guys in the next video at the latest on Thursday. See you guys. Have a good yeah, day. See you guys. Thanks for joining. Wherever you are in the world.